but at the same time, like, I'm gonna miss this flight. So, like, I don't know what to do because I'm walking really fast, but they can't keep up. But we sent a representative running. So, we'll see what happens. <laughs> What's up, P Nation? Today is the day we are finally going to Antarctica. <laughs> it's gonna be so cool, it's gonna be so exciting. Unfortunately, we are not able to travel together. So I'm at the airport right now dropping Leah off. She actually leaves four days before I do. <laughs> we're starting in Dallas, and we're going to Houston, then we're going to Auckland, then we're going to Christchurch. It's gonna be a lot of flights. We're both on the same flight pattern. So we'll be able to show you those experiences both uniquely by ourselves. Yes. Separately, but together. <laughs> What's up guys, it's been like one minute since you've seen me, but it's actually been four days. I have been going to see my sister and my grandmother and now I'm at the same airport, the same terminal that Leo was four days ago. Okay, so I'm about to board flight number one from Dallas to Houston and there are just so many emotions going through me right now. I am nervous, I am excited, I am scared. This is kind of like a whirlwind experience it's kind of coming full circle just because last time we left on a big trip like this it was six months and we were jumping around literally everywhere and now we're just gonna be in the same spot for six months what? quick update it's been three hours since i last talked to you we had a couple delays people yelling it was amazing it was crazy i don't even know what's going on right now some lady told me to come to the front i got a new ticket so now i'm running to get on this other flight to houston i'll have like 40 minutes to layover and then hopefully i'll be on my flight to auckland I'm traveling alone. Usually I'm traveling with Zach. And unfortunately for Zach, he is not a Priority Pass member, but I am. So I get to go to a Priority Pass lounge all by myself. So let's go. Now I'm getting on a plane from Houston all the way to Auckland, which is in the north side of New Zealand. And then another flight from Auckland, New Zealand to Christchurch, New Zealand, where we're gonna have orientation before we go all the way down to Antarctica. It's gonna be amazing. But it was a little stressful because we didn't know exactly when we were leaving the United States up until like 10 days ago. So got, I got my information a little bit earlier than Zach did, but we had no idea really like when we were leaving, where we were going exactly, and how we were getting there. So it was a little nerve wracking and it was a little bit stressful. You know, we were enjoying our time with our families as much as possible, but like had this idea in the back of our head this entire time that we're gonna be flying to Antarctica. We don't know how, so you can imagine that that was a little bit stressful. Yeah. Okay, I landed in Houston. I have five minutes to make another flight. This is completely chaos. I have no idea if I'm gonna make it or not. I'm gonna have to run. Okay, we're getting a little bit closer. I have like a internal struggle right now because I'm trying not to leave these older people behind me that got me on my last flight. But at the same time, like I'm gonna miss this flight. So like I don't know what to do because I'm walking really fast but they can't keep up. But we sent a representative running. So, we'll see what happens. All right, Anna, it's too good to be true. I missed it. I think it was by four minutes. I don't know. I feel like I should have stayed with the people I stayed with. There was so much going on. People were dropping bags. This woman had to get out her inhaler to make it fast enough. So I feel like I did the right thing. I maybe could have made it like three minutes to spare if I ran, because I can, I got pretty long strides. But, I don't know. Ethically, I feel like I did the right thing. So now we gotta wait in the customer service line for probably an hour and a half. Let's see what happens. Whew. And all that searching has led me to here. Yes, I did get a flight for tomorrow, but my bags are like completely missing. Anyways, long story short, found out I didn't have a flight, talked to some people, got on a go-kart, went all the way across the airport, brought me here, gave me special instructions, waiting for my bag now, hopefully it's gonna come. I got a hotel room for tonight. This was just not what I expected. It's been an interesting day. I've never actually missed a flight. I've been very close many times, but I've never actually missed a flight. So apparently one of these is about to pop up. My bag will come out. I'll then get to go to the hotel, and then all's well ends well, and then I'll get on my flight tomorrow, and hopefully make it to New Zealand by then, but we'll see. <sighs> okay, I just got to the Marriott. I've got my meal. Today has just been 
so crazy. I just, I don't even know. Normally I get on a flight and it's fine. Somehow we got on our flight tomorrow and it's just like so many things that happened in the past like two hours. I've just talked to so many people. It's been an amazing time, don't get me wrong. And every time I tell someone I'm going to Antarctica, they're like, what are you talking about? Is this a joke? I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, so I just started saying I'm going to New Zealand and then people are like, yeah, that's cool. You know, whatever. It's been really fun talking to people today and it's been a really cool experience, but I am exhausted and I'm gonna turn today's video off and we'll see you tomorrow. like that got to the airport made the security got my boarding pass and it is a new day last night was an amazing night I slept so well woke up this morning went to the pool oh I am so relaxed now probably completely opposite of what Leo was feeling at this time we are here now I am in Houston I'm about to board this flight to Auckland New Zealand it's 15 hours long this is by far the longest flight I have ever been on even when Zach and I went to Southeast Asia last February that was only 13 hours so a 15 hour flight, my knees are gonna be killing me. This is going to be a long flight. Okay everybody, we are officially doing this. We are getting on our 15 hour flight from Houston, Texas to Auckland, New Zealand. We made it to Auckland. We are like, I don't even know, five hours early. This is gonna be interesting. Nice. Like I had a blanket, I had a pillow. The food for dinner was like mashed potatoes with chicken and tomato sauce. It was really, really good. And then for breakfast we had like this omelet thing with fruit and that was, that was okay as well. So overall it was really, really good. But now I'm just sitting here in the terminal. I just got hired on the intercom that they have a 15 pound policy for your bag. So I'm really nervous that I'm not gonna make it. So I'm gonna like fill up my pockets right now with a bunch of stuff and see if I can not hit over 15 pounds. I just weighed my bag and it weighs 30. Okay, let's see if it makes it. Dang it. I'm trying everything. Okay, this is gonna be the one. I'm feeling it. I think I figured it out. My pockets are full. So this is jacket. So between those two things. Fingers crossed. Okay, so it's confirmed. You definitely don't need to have a seven kilogram bag because no one has weighed there. I just watched two different planes leave and of those two planes, no one stopped to weigh their bag at all. So it'll be fine, it's gonna be nice. Also, I slept amazing on the last plane. I slept almost seven hours, which is a first for me. Maybe it's because Leah's always like leaning on my shoulder and I never actually get to like sleep by myself, just like in my own cocoon. So that was really nice. That's the most sleep I've ever gotten on a plane ever. So maybe I'll get more sleep on this one because Leah's not leaning on my shoulder. We'll see. Okay, so I'm about to board my third flight from Auckland to Christchurch. It should be like maybe an hour, hopefully less than that. I'm ready to be in Christchurch and to stop getting on so many planes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'm boarding this plane now. We're going outside to, ex to enter through the back. to sleep. Okay, and just like that, I have made it to Christchurch, and I'm really excited to show you guys the city because it's been rebuilt in the past seven years. They had two major earthquakes here, back to back, in um, I think 2010 and 11, 
or maybe they were both in 2010. Anyways, so the city was completely leveled. There are still some buildings that are standing from then, but there are a lot of new buildings, and so I'm excited to show you the contrast. Okay, so if there is one thing I've learned about the city, it's that there is a ton of art. After the earthquakes happened, there's all this vacant land and there's this huge movement to actually make this vacant land into something, whether that was just spray painting pillars, which you see behind me, and the spray painting cans, or even actually the ground I'm standing on used to be a dance floor, which was just like in the middle of the city. So you just inserted a coin and a speaker, and then it played, and then you just had a dance floor in the middle of the city. So weird, weird, weird projects like that to make the city kind of vibrant again and use these urban spaces that otherwise wouldn't have been used. It's really cool. Ooh, I just had some amazing shawarma. As you can see, it's steaming, it was so hot. Oh, I am so satisfied right now. This city is just so interesting because there's all these gravel parking lots, which are like remnants of old buildings next to brand new buildings. So it's still not completely built up like I'm sure the city used to be. It used to be completely claustrophobic, no room for cars, because this is a pretty old city. But now there's all these parking lots. It's interesting. It's really interesting to see gentrification happening right in front of your eyes. Okay, that is it for today. I just went to the grocery store and got my last bit of real milk. I got chocolate milk too because you guys know I love that so much. So I'm just gonna enjoy this last night, Christchurch, before I head to the frigid Arctic.